Uh, welcome back everyone this is chapter 23 we are going to learn about apache configuration let us see how to install the apache how to start the service how to check the status and how to define our own document root for apache service by default by once you installing the installing the apache package it will be it will create the document root it will be default one will be under it is uh, where www HTML now it's not yet created because the package was not yet installed and the configuration file will be under etc httpd so the http also not uh, available because the package was not installed yet let me search which I know that Apache service will be provided by httpd so let me show you yum search httpd it, we can see httpd apache http server okay so let me show you info sorry httpd here we can see that small description the apache http server is a powerful effective and extensible web server okay let us install the package now yum install httpd let me provide the minor hyphen y or we can provide it manually once the httpd service has been installed we can start this service before starting let me check whether the service was showing something it's showing it's inactive and dead and the service was not started in the boot time by it because it's in disable mode just now i have installed the package let me try to start the service now system ctl system ctl start httpd and let me check the status now the service was active and it's still disabled so i want to enable the service to start while the system comes up i have enabled it by enabling it will create a soft link from the user lib system read system http service and it will be added under the multi user dot targets so that what are the targets are assigned to the multi user dot targets once those services will be launched it will be started while the servers comes up so now it's enabled and active now if we go into the var www html we can see this directory has been created once the apache package install this will be created and the configuration will be under etc httpd conf okay the httpd.conf has been created now let us see how to uh, now the server was up apache server was up let me check whether the website can can be accessed but default the default document route has been uh, has any access okay for that um, i can use a terminal terminal of uh, web browser called elinks uh, httpd http slash local slash local host the e links was not installed let me install m install e links e links is a terminal based browser once it installed we can check by e links http colon double slash or local host the Red Hat Enterprise Test page has been launched so that the Apache service is running now and we need to access our own defined web page for that what can we do okay now let me create my own defined custom document row for that mkdir I am going to create the custom document root called uh, geek linux verb under the root okay let me try to touch a index file into that geek 
in desktop.html let me open something welcome to geek linux web and redirect into geek and index let me cat and check whether the contents are fine it's fine now time to define our apache document root in the apache configuration for that i am going to vim the file etc httpd conf slash httpd.conf from the first line onwards i will explain you the default uh, configuration will be under etc httpd the server want to listen under the port 80 and if we want to include more models there are we can talk about the models later uh, we can include under this directory it will be under etc httpd conf and the conf.model.d so that what are the files we are creating under this location dot conf will be pulled out for the models information and the user apache and group apache was running this web server we can define our own also the server admin the email address by default is root at the rate localhost we can define our own by mentioning our enterprise email ids and the access for entries okay this is permit access for some of the web content and the default doc document root was now where www.html as i have shown you by listing the directory this directory by default the apache will use this so now i'm going to define the my own default document root for that yes i want to make a copy of this and paste it and let me command it out this is the default document root i am going to define this is my custom one and i am going to replace the default one with this okay and here paste the default document root and we need to define our own young the five lines and press p to paste it's not happening paste the web content web document root here and one more thing we need to define here is a document root directory entries this is by default one so i'm going to define our own here it's closed we can see it's starting from here to one of the direct, uh, default document root from here to till here okay so let me try to create one of the manual one uh, so my default document root would be slash key Linux web by next line we can mention options or you can take it from here I am lazy to type hello or write none if we type this it will be good to remember I have been typed for many times and I know what to do 
so better you follow by typing and close the directory okay this is the default document root I have defined for my web interface let me save and exit and restart the Apache configuration restart HTTPD check for the service status fine and let us access the web interface using e-link http http slash localhost this should work it's not coming it's going still going to uh, let me check the se linux status se linux was enabled and in enforcing mode so i am going to set and force set and force zero and get and force it's in permissive mode now sc status okay now let me try http colon double slash local host local host our web has been worked this is default root i have defined one it's coming from the default document root which we have defined welcome to geek linux web thus we can uh, set the default document root to any one of the directory and the files um, in later we can see how to configure the apache with full configuration mode it's a different series of tutorial i'm going to explain it end to end how to use the se linux ip tables and how to set up a enterprise level apache server uh, if you want to check for the logs we can check for the logs under the var log httpd it will be access log and the error log uh, if you found something if you want to troubleshoot more about the uh, apache ongoing issues you can check here okay let us see how to uh, work with other configurations in the next tutorial about Apache. Please subscribe. Uh, in the right corner, you can see a, a logo, a Linux GNU logo. Uh, please click on that so that you will be subscribed to our channel and you will be updated for every video tutorials. You are not going to miss anything from Linux Geek. Okay, Geek Linux videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching.